Hello everyone, I'm going to use this card holder to demonstrate the basics of leather sewing using two needles joined together by a thread. There are many ways to sew leather. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to sew leather using two needles. I'm going to show you how to tie this needle into the thread. This thread is one continuous piece. I'm just going to put a needle through this end. Take a piece of wood. Take a knife, push the knife against it, and simply we're going to feather out the tip. Okay. Once it's feathered like this, we'll put it through the eye of the needle. Once it is through the eye, we're going to take this back end of the thread and untwist it. Once it's untwisted, we're going to tuck this guy into this end, like this. We're going to twist the thread back together, like so. So by adjusting the length and the amount of twist, um, you control how tightly this is held. And this might come loose during sewing and you just simply retwist it. Before we start sewing with these two needles, I just want to demonstrate some general principles using a larger model system. So I've attached a cord to two pieces of pine. As you can say, this is my pine needles. So I'm going to demonstrate on this piece of wood how to do stitching. First we push the first needle through, and then next we're going to cross the needles through these holes. I'm going to pass both needles through like this. One thing to be aware of is notice how this cord is above this cord. Okay. So that's something to keep in mind if it's important to you that these stay consistent. And then once we pull through it one set, we're going to pull it in like this just to tighten it down. So if the holes is too small to allow two needles to pass through, I simply pass one through first and then pass the other one through. So one thing we want to avoid is poking the needle through the thread. This could be very difficult to get apart. So once a roll of stitching is done, to your, I like to lock the stitch seam by going backwards. Simply go back to different stitches. Pull it tight each time, like so. About four or five stitches is plenty to lock the stitches in. So I just cut them off right here, and this is the basic principle of sewing leather. There are a few basic tools that make sewing leather a lot easier. One of them is this stitch marking wheel. You need a little bit of wax and an awl of some sort. Now, some people uh, put a groove into the leather first before they stitch. There's a special tool that can do that. It's a little groove that cuts a little groove along the line. I don't have it, so I'm just going to use this little V gouge. So I'm just going to align this. So we're just putting a little groove in here. I'm going to leave this side ungrooved uh, just so you can see the difference between a grooved stitch versus an ungrooved stitch. Next thing I'm going to use this little marker and I'm just going to trace from where the stitch I would like to start. This is going to allow me to find where I should poke all the holes. So there are little markings on there all the way around. Next I'm going to use an awl to poke out all these holes. So it's good to put a little wax onto the awl. And I'm going to poke through both layers. Try to stay 
perpendicular to the hole that you're poking. To sew the leather, I'm simply going to push the needle through the first hole. And I'm just going to interlock them, just like we did on the demonstration, except the holes are quite tight. So I'm only going to pass through one needle through at once. And you see, just after a first pass through a very tight hole, the string started to fray here. Complete the stitch, we take it and tug it. There is one stitch. second stitch. I've completed the stitching. Now I'm going to lock down the stitch by going backwards. Uh, in this case, probably three or four stitches. So I'm just going to go back through where I was stitching. last stitch. We're just going to cut it off. If we compare the stitching here, this is a side of a narrow groove. This had a much bigger groove and the stitch sits inside the groove here. But on this side, it sits in the groove a lot more because this groove was bigger and deeper. And this is where we backstitched to lock down the stitching. So on this side, as you can see, it didn't have any grooving at all. And the stitch doesn't look nearly as neat as this side. Okay. So I went ahead and put a groove here after the holes were poked. And this little line here looks a little bit better than here. These stitches tend to be Feel, they feel a lot tired, there you can see that. They're a little bit above the surface, whereas these, this side, are sitting inside the leather. So, so this is how they look in different cases of depending how you prepare the stitch in the leather. The last thing is we're gonna take the wheels and just gonna run them over the stitching. It's gonna help push the stitches down. So they'll lay a little bit flatter. This is a pretty simple stitching project. And, and to complete this, all we needed was a little gouge, but there are grooving tools. A spacer tool, you don't really need this, but this really helps in all of some sorts. Uh, this is a broken needle that I put into a piece of wood and the point is being sharpened into a triangle. If this is too difficult, another must have probably is one of these finger protectors. And when we're pulling on this string really hard, it cuts into the uh, fingers. So to protect them, we sew with one of these little things. And if you look at the stitching here, it's using the same type of stitch I had shown in the video. Um, so I hope you enjoy the video and decide to give leather sewing a try. If you do decide to give this a try, these tools are very sharp. So be careful of any knives or scissors that you might use.